the half split hip hinge. This particular exercise is good for two reasons. Number one, we are teaching each side of the hip, both left and right, to hinge one of the most important actions of the hip that we don't happen to be very good at and usually one side will be worse off than the other. Number two, we are stretching and moving the quad and tendon, providing necessary movement and blood flow to that area, as well as getting a nice stretch of the adductor groin of the opposing leg. What you're gonna need is a pad. Go ahead and take a knee, put the other leg out to the side like this, hands on the hip, hips, and you're just gonna hinge back, butt towards the heel and extend all the way up. We don't want to quite sit down on our heel. We want to go about 80 to 85% of the way and extend all the way up. That way the fibers of the glute are eccentrically loading before they contract. There's no full rest or stop. That way you should feel a nice burn in the hips and maybe a nice little stretch of the adductor groin. I like to start off with five reps for a warm-up set, maybe 10 reps for a working set. We can even add weight goblet style like this and make it more of a strength set. Go ahead and give it a try.